Joey Tempest, and of course, you're watching Europe's number one rock show, Countdown. And I got a friend of mine here, Simone. Hey. Why don't you talk to her? Joey, thanks a lot. <laughs> hey, welcome bij Countdown. Vandaag in the studio. Europe, met twee nummers aan het einde van de show. Ook Bomb the Bass, Brother Beyond en Paul Abdul. Nog meer aanstormende hits van Rick Ashley en de Petsu Boys met twee gloednieuwe clips. Je ziet de nummer 1 uit de 40 en de beste van Tina Turner. Maar nu eerst, U2 met een nieuwe single, Desire. Desire. Ze doen trouwens ook mee aan de Greenpeace LP samen met Dire Straits, The Pretenders, In Excess, Peter Gabriel, Simple Minds en nog veel meer andere artiesten. En deze LP komt ook uit in het Oostblok. Dus voor het eerst en in januari kan je hem kopen. Uit Engeland. Brother Beyond! <laughs> right, thank you very much. Welcome, Nathan and Steve. I Listen, you recorded two and a half years over your first album. Why did it take so long? Uh, I think all along we were sort of learning. When, especially on your first album, you don't really... You don't really know what it's like to go in the studio, and uh, you just have to learn as you go along. And we learnt by our mistakes, quite a lot of them. But uh, we've eventually got there, and it'll be out sort of um, first week in November, all over Europe. Yeah. And uh, you wrote uh, most of the tracks yourself, but there are a few tracks uh, uh, written and produced by Stock Aitken Watman. Do you think that it's a disadvantage if it's produced by Stock Aitken Watman? Because you're one of the many, you know? Yeah. Well, we've recorded five singles up to now. And uh, this is the only one that's been a hit, so I don't think we've been, a, you know, it's, I don't think it's a disadvantage at all. Um, I think they're great, and they've written uh, a great song with The Harder I Try, and the follow-up single, which is called He Ain't No Competition. It's great, so I think they're wonderful to work with. Okay. Steve, sorry, you studied psychology. Yes. So, yes. are you doing anything with that study at the moment? No, I wish I was, actually. I did a degree in psychology in the University in London before I joined Brother Beyond. But uh, I hope I never, ever have to use it, because I much prefer being a drummer. Okay. Well, we'll listen to your new single then. Here is Brother Beyond, Matt, The Harder I Try. <laughs> Hi, Joey. Hi, how you doing? Right here. I'm fine. Thanks a lot. You just came back from America a few weeks ago. Yeah. What did you do there? We were doing a tour with uh, Def Leppard, uh, a summer tour. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. But you're also planning a world tour, aren't you? We're going to go on a world tour. It starts in uh, November in Bombay in India, and then we do Australia and Japan. And after Christmas, we'll come here to you in Europe and do a tour. Why did you choose Bombay to start off? That's so weird. Late. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, but we wanted to do something different. So yeah. It's different. But is it also And then also, they have a lot of, they've listened to Europe a lot. They have a lot of pirate tapes and everything. Ah, I see, I see. Since you last came here, you remember with Adam, he was still presenting that show? Yeah. Um, something happened. You became world stars. And yeah. was that something you planned, or was it a complete surprise? No, we didn't. It was surprising. I think Final Counter was number one in 27 countries. And that only happens once in a lifetime, you know. It was a big surprise. We had a lot of fun, though. Yeah? yeah. It's working hard, too. Yes. Yeah, the band, we've been working since 1980. You know. Yeah. And you're still friends now. Yeah. That's good stuff. <laughs> right. What are your uh, nearest future plans except for the tour? Or is that just the main thing, the world tour? Yes, yeah. the world tour. We'll do a promotion tour right now in Europe. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, which, uh, which country do you like to play most? I like to play in uh, Japan a lot. Yeah. And America is nice to tour in because it's easy. It's, it's great. And, yeah. uh, and some countries in Europe is nice too. Yeah. It's different. Well, yeah. anyway, but let's, uh, <laughs> let's turn to completely different music now. Yeah. Could you please assist me with doing the top 10? The, the top 10? Yeah, go ahead, Steve. Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> That's Swedish. You don't speak Swedish, do you? Let me do this in Swedish way. <laughs> All right, no problem. No, let me start here. Let me see. Uh, number 10 this week uh, is Glenn... What was that, Glenn? Me, me, Medeiros. Medeiros. Glenn Medeiros, Long, long and Lasting Love. Mm. Uh, you like that? Yeah, Yeah. right on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Okay, number 9, level 42, Heaven in My Hands. I think it's that's cool. I saw that video. That's cool. Number 8, Debbie Gibson, Foolish, Foolish Beat. Uh, number seven, you'll be 40. Uh, where did I go wrong? And number six, let's see, Kylie Minogue. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that old song, Locomotion again. Yep. And one of my favorites, 
Louis Armstrong. I play trumpet myself, actually. You're kidding. Yeah, and uh, I remember he's one of my favorites. Remember the song Hello, Dolly? And, oh, uh, yes. Oh, beautiful. That's great. Oh. And uh, he's got this song, What a Wonderful World. <clears throat> that's number five. Number four is Mili Vanilli. Girl, you know it's true. And uh, number three is a good song, too. Wonderful Tonight. Eric Clapton. It's great. And uh, number two, the sweet jazz and the plastic population. Wow, sounds weird to me. Yes, it is weird. <laughs> the only way is up. And uh, a great singer, uh, Sam Brown, is number one. Stop. Hey, you keep up very good with the supporting music, don't nah, you? Nah, some, some stuff. I hear some stuff. Right. <laughs> We will see you later on stage. Yeah, right on stage. Songs, you know, two songs today. Hill. That's great. Mm, yeah, right. yeah. Well, it's going to be later. fun. Thanks a lot. Stick We're going to watch number one now. Here's okay. Sam Brown met Stop. Staat er voor de derde week op nummer 1 met Stop. Paula Abdul uit Los Angeles is professioneel choreografe. Ze heeft alle dans bedacht voor de clips van Janet Jackson, de films van Eddie Murphy en de hele feesttournee van George Michael. Je ziet haar nu zelf op de bühne met Knocked Out. Paula Abdul. Yeah. Knocked out. En de mensen die zich bijschatten zijn de beste leerlingen van haar dansschool in Los Angeles. Rick Ashley heeft zelf een nummer geschreven en er zit een hele leuke video bij waarin Rick ook acteert. Hier is hij met She Wants to Dance with Me. Rick Ashley met She Wants to Dance with Me. En hij gaat de titelnummers zingen voor de nieuwe James Bond film. En de werktitel daarvan is tot nu toe Licensed Revoked. Naast mij zit Tim Simmonen, de man behind Bump the Bass. En naast hem Merlin, guest rapper. Welcome to the Countdown Studio. Hi. Um, you have a new single out. It's no sampling, but you wrote it yourself. But that's yeah. not hip, is it? is it? Hip. It's not hip to write your own songs at the moment. Yeah, is of it? course. Is it? That's why I did it. Yeah? yeah? Why, is it on purpose or did you just want to write your own well, songs? Well, no, I mean, Mega Blast is like the obvious sort of second single because it's another DJ cut-up concept. So if right. I wrote a song, I thought it would be different. Yeah. And soon your album will be released with your own material, but also with some covers, isn't it? Well, with one cover. Which one is that? Um, it's an old Bakra and David song called Say A Little Prayer. Really? That's a bro song. But isn't it difficult to make a good cover well, of that? Well, it's sort of a, a lover's hip-hop sort of thing, what we've done. I mean, the, the vocals are really sort of mellow and soulful, and the beat behind it is sort of really hard. Mm. Well, so, we'll hear it when the album yeah. is out. Merlin, you're a guest rapper on this record, but your own single will be released as well, huh? That's right, I've got a single coming out in um, <laughs> September on the 26th, it's called Born Free. And um, I'm on the same label as Tim is, Rhythm King, mm. and we work together on the same label. That's how we met each other, and that's how we've been working <clears throat> with each other. We can expect you touring in Holland? That's right, the um, second week of November, okay. and the third week I'll be in Germany. All right, we'll see you then, and we'll see you later on stage with music. Thank you very much. Okay. We hebben weer een video request vandaag. De beste van Tina Turner. Op drie is geëindigd. We don't need another hero. Op twee, it's only love with Brian Adams. En op nummer één, de beste van Tina, Private Dancer. De beste van Tina Turner, dat was Private Dancer. En als je ook mee wilt stemmen, vul dan de bon in die in de Veronica gids staat. En stuur die op, dan komt alles in orde. Maar volgende week kies ik de beste van, want dan is het mijn laatste countdown. Ze staan al klaar, bomt de beest, je kent ze nog van Beat This. Hier zijn ze met een nieuwe single, Don't Make Me Wait. <applaus> 